welcome back to my channel thank you very much for watching my name is Sean and today I've got for you my May favourites again a bit of an odd month in lockdown not wearing makeup not really like making an effort still reading kind of got my reading mojo back in May which was really nice because April I really really struggled and March just struggled to read any kind of books so I've really enjoyed getting back to reading. I'll link here my reading wrap up which went live. There were six books I read in May which was pretty impressive. I'm going to start with favourite uh, beauty product. There are two. The first one is one I've had for quite a long time. That is this Himalaya lip balm. I got this in India and I tend to find the Himalaya products are really really nice. They are a wellness brand, there's a lot of kind of good things that go into the product and they're really good. I'd highly recommend their cold balm which you, we use instead of like Vicks Vapor Rub. Um, you just kind of rub it on but it smells really nice because it's actually kind of not full of chemicals. So that's the first thing. I've been getting really dry lips this month. I don't know whether it's the heat or the fact that it's gone from the heat to the cold. Who knows? Second thing, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it is this. Kukui oil shampoo. No idea how you say it. When I had my hair dyed in like a rainbow colours, my hairdresser said to me, make sure you get sulfate free shampoo. So <laughs> I got sulfate free shampoo and conditioner and this is the one I got. So it hydrates and defrizzes. I've definitely seen a difference in my hair. It's definitely feeling far more kind of luxurious, although it desperately needs a cut. It has got so long and very split endy. But this has been making sure that actually it stays really nice. And I've found that since using this, I can go three days in between washing my hair, whereas previously it was like every other day I would wash it. So now it's every three days which is quite a big difference and means that I don't have to use it so often. The main thing I find it does really really well is to defrizz because I've always got like always I call it baby hair but I've had it since I was a teenager all the bits that like stick out everywhere it really keeps those under control so I really like that. And yes this one has the top taped up because it's a new one that only just came through I get these on Amazon subscribe and save. I know Amazon is bad. Living where we live, it's actually very convenient and it's the cheapest way I've found of getting them. I subscribe and save to quite a few things every month, so I save a decent amount of money because I'm subscribed to them. If you don't know about that, maybe let me know and I could always do a video on that. Favourite item of clothing? Well, May has been ridiculously hot. I don't do heat. I am very pale. I'm not made for the heat. I like kind of being cold basically. When it's snowy, when I can snuggle down in front of a warm fire, that's when I'm happy. I am one of those people who does moan about the heat because genuinely my body does not like it. Um, so I haven't enjoyed being so hot. But I have these shorts which are from Georgia Asda. They are relatively not pretty to look at but you know what they cover everything they're quite high-waisted the fact they're high-waisted I really love because I struggle to find high-waisted shorts that aren't then really short shorts so these are down to my knee they can have anything chucked on top of them they're really comfy and it just means that you don't need to worry about being hot one thing I haven't been doing is bothering shaving my legs just can't be bothered with a lot of stuff right now <laughs> truth be told um and the other day when i was wearing my shorts i did think possibly should have shaved my legs but wasn't bothering me so i didn't <laughs> my favorite book this month is called queenie by candice carty williams unfortunately even though it's like the very beginning of this month i loved it so much i've already lent it to someone else so i no longer have it to kind of hold and show you the book but it is about a girl called Queenie who is lost in her life right now she is she has black Jamaican heritage her grandma and granddad are quite kind of they want her to live her life in a certain way they want her to behave in a certain way and yet she's like a 20 something year old girl living in London and she definitely doesn't want to behave like that but she also wants to respect their wishes so she's working in a newspaper, she's got a good job, but she's really struggling with relationships with 
loving herself. She has some very dodgy relationships, particularly one with someone called Guy who is just clearly like sexually abusing her but she doesn't see that and throughout that you're kind of willing her to just realise what's going on. You're kind of screaming at her, come on, come on Queenie, you can do this, get out of there. Um, you're just willing her to see that inner strength that you know she has to turn her life around. And I read this book at a time when I was really struggling just generally with feeling very low, with not feeling like I had a purpose in my life. So actually to read this was quite cathartic because I realised that it's not just me and I know that's a ridiculous thing to say um, but it wasn't just me having problems there are plenty of other people who also have problems that are far greater than mine and that maybe reading that was just a really helpful kind of kick up the bum so to speak get me kind of looking at things and rethinking them because I think I was very much in this kind of like woe is me place which is never a good place to be is it so Queenie was my absolute favourite book. It's brilliant. It is darkly comedic, but in a kind of light way by the end, if that makes sense. Um, I really enjoyed it. The prose flowed, the characters largely were likeable, and it was a really interesting take on kind of race and culture and how all of that is integrated when kind of your past and your present are trying to kind of mesh and you're trying to find that place in the world with all these outside influences on you and outside prejudices as well so it's a really interesting one. My favourite Instagram this month is Lauren Ashley Gordon and this is her Instagram. She is absolutely incredible, talks all about kind of self-love, self-acceptance, body positivity, she also has a slightly unhealthy obsession with plants, which I really love. I wish I could be more like Lauren. I wish I could be more accepting and in following her, I hope that I will do. I have followed her for about four and a half years, maybe a tiny bit longer from when she was quite a small account. So it's been amazing to see her grow and how she lifts up others and how she really kind of uses her platform for good and uses her voice for good and that's refreshing to see. She's honest, she's open. Her highlights on like embarrassing sex stories, masturbation, all kinds of things are hilarious. Um, I would definitely recommend you go check her out. If you don't already follow her, then go and have a look at her stories because some of them are just pure comedy gold, absolute gold. <laughs> right, favorite YouTuber it has to wait one second because I can tell you who my least favorite YouTuber is this month. And that is a guy called Dream. He plays with a guy called George and the pair of them just shout and scream through the whole video. Can you tell my children have watched it too much? All I hear is Dream, George, George, Dream. Ah! Genuinely has driven me insane. I'm very close to just blocking his whole channel because I really can't stand listening to his voice. <laughs> and the screaming and the immaturity and the way they basically appear to kind of bully people online. Dislike it immensely. Anyway, that's my least favourite YouTuber. My favourite actual YouTuber this month is Joe Wicks. I'm sure most of you know of him. If you didn't before, I'm sure you do now. Um, let me find his channel. He's been doing PE lessons on his channel. He's gone up to having 2.7 million subscribers. I have followed his channel for a very long time and used to always do the workouts religiously when I was training for Tough Mudder till I hurt my hip. Um, but I just think what he's done in kind of taking on sort of educating the nation um, and the PE lessons and things like that is brilliant. And what he's been donating to the NHS is amazing. I mean, I, I feel a bit funny about people having to donate money to the NHS, which is not a charity, but I think his heart is in the right place there. So I think he's done amazing stuff on YouTube. We've been watching him loads and joining in all the time with the kids. So that's been really nice for us all to do. So favourite YouTuber is Joe Wicks for his kind of body coach channel and PE with Joe. And I think that's it. There has been so much going on this week and I might do a video to kind of address how I'm feeling, but I don't really feel like it's my place to do so. Um, but I'm basically feeling really discouraged with pretty much everyone I know at the moment um, for their reaction to 
Black Lives Matter protests and not being kind of accepting of other people's yeah I'm not going to get into it now because it's too big and I'm too angry about it so <laughs> I'm going to go and I will see you again soon all right bye